This is one that's actually heating up right now. I mean, it's, what, $25, $30 on eBay, and this is the night of release. And this is Magnificent Miss Marvel number five. And what's the importance of this issue, Jack? We have a costume change, a new costume for Miss Marvel. Now, if, if you've watched the Bolo show, you know I don't like these first appearances. I don't like calling these first appearances um, things like costume changes and things like that. Um, you know, to me, don't always resonate with the market. And if I if I listed every one, we'd do them all the time. This was one I felt like we needed to list because of a couple of reasons. Number one, the homage to Secret Wars number eight. Um, where obviously you get that black suit Spider-Man, I think kind of indicates the importance of this costume change. Secondly, you guys were talking about it. And before the show started and we really got kicked off, Brian explained to you guys that, again, the polo, this is your list. It's what you guys are talking about. So everyone was talking about this book, so I included it. Having said that, I never expected to see the prices hit what they're hitting. Like Brian said, 20 to $30 already on this book. I, I think that it, there's a short supply of these books compared to what the demand is. Um, again, we live in the age of modern madness. Everything that comes out that's new, everyone's anticipating something big happening. Um, will this costume stick? That's what's going to be key. If this costume doesn't stick, this could be people throwing money away. Having said that, if this is the costume we see end up, say, when we see Camilla Khan in the movies, this could be a huge book. It all kinds of depends. It all kind of depends. That's what that's what I was thinking is it, when when she does make it into the MCU, whatever, if, what if she's wearing this costume? And then I think there's a degree of FOMO because, I mean, that Daredevil issue back in the day when he goes from the yellow to the red costume, that's, that, that did stick for a little bit, I guess. Right. Uh, this could be, you know, what if this could be that issue for, for Miss Marvel? But who knows? Probably go through about 12 different reboots before then, but... Um, well, it's, Camilla Khan and Miss Marvel always gets compared to Captain Marvel. Yeah. You have to think how many costumes did Captain Marvel had? Yeah. And, and none of those old costumes really are worth a ton. They may get their moment in the sun if she puts them on in the movie for a moment. But that's costume first appearances are dangerous. So if you're buying this for a speculation purpose, my, my only bet would be, you know, you're, you're hoping for that movie appearance. I think that's really the only way that you make some good money. Great looking cover, I have to say. I, both Brian and I are big fans of, uh, of homages, and this is a great homage. Yeah. But yeah, I would not be spending $25 on it, though. Just, that's, just, that's just me. But Right, man, me too. I mean, we advocate that on the, on the show every week. Don't chase the market. You know, if you were able to grab this book for cover price, go ahead and make that sale. Or if you feel strongly long-term, hold on to it. But yeah. don't chase the price up the ladder. Um, you got to ask yourself, even if she showed up in a movie, what would this really be worth? Right. Um, and if you're paying 25 to $30, you just don't have a lot of meat on the bones left. Yeah. And if you're one of the people that's selling for 25 and $30 and people are buying it, good job. Kudos to you because that's – that's what the game is. So That's what being a Wednesday warrior is all about, yep. anticipating everyone else's FOMO and taking advantage of it. And not in a negative way. I don't say taking advantage of it in a negative way. That's just what the market is, is where people who miss out, they run on eBay and they want that copy and they're willing to pay whatever it's going to take. And uh, those Wednesday warriors who are out there hitting the LCSs, calling their um, local local comic crack dealer and you know, reserving those copies in their pull boxes. Shout out to you because you guys are winning today. Right. 